Happy Healthy Living with Yvonne Douglas. I'm Doug and today we're going to celebrate Valentine's Day. We're going to do some Valentine's Day decorating. I have a couple of easy DIY projects and plus we're going to make some delicious Linzer Tort cookies heart shaped. So hopefully you'll stay tuned for that. Okay, so we're gonna check out Hobby Lobby and see what they have for Valentine's Day. Let's go. Let's do some chopping. <laughs> Let's do some shopping. Wow, people. Whatever you do, don't wait till the end of January to go shopping for Valentine's Day because there's hardly anything out. I just left Hobby Lobby and I was at Kirkland's last weekend and that should have been a sign because they hardly had any Valentine's Day stuff too. But I thought, oh, Hobby Lobby should have it. I mean, it's three weeks away. No, hardly anything. So uh, there's some footage of what I took and that's pretty much all they had. So anyway, I just picked up a few things and we're gonna look through the decor I picked up and start decorating. Okay, so yes, my counter is filled with Valentine's Day items and different things we're going to put together to help celebrate Valentine's Day. So I'm usually not a big Valentine's Day uh, decorator. I do a little bit. This year I decided to do a little bit more and we're gonna go through some of the things uh, that I have and where you can purchase them. Okay, so the very first thing we're gonna work on is a couple of easy DIY projects that you can do at home. The first thing is we're gonna make these um, coffee stirs, and I just have regular pop sickle sticks, food grade here, and what we're gonna do is I have these really cute um, felt hearts that have a little stitching going all the way around them, and I think they're super, super cute. So. Um, what I'm gonna do is add a little hot glue to the end, just like that, and that's all it is. So I'm adding a little of my hot glue to the tip of the stick, and we're gonna put the felt heart right at the tip, and that's gonna stick like that. We're gonna use these as stirs. Isn't that cute? I have these uh, flower arrangements and they are a little Valentine Day-ish. Um, one is not, one is pure white, it's very wintry. And since we are still in the season of winter, I thought about adding some more of these hearts on a wooden skewer like this, the very tip so they stick out. So I think this is gonna be maybe a little too long. I have to measure it, get my flower arrangement, and I'll see. And it's always good to get some good um, um, scissors that cut wood. Um, uh, those would be really good. So in fact, I gotta get mine from upstairs. And so, yeah, and I think it's gonna work out really great. The uh, flower arrangement I was telling you about that's very wintry. So what I'm gonna do, like, these sticks actually I think are fine. I'm gonna 
poke three, only three in here. And once again, after Valentine's Day, you can easily take these sticks out so we could reuse them next year. And I'm going to put two hearts together so they're like back to back, a little hot glue to the tip here. Put, press them together, just like that. How easy is that? And look how super cute. See, look at all the, all the ones you get. I'll look up the price and put the price in for you. But um, really cute, and I like the shape of them too. Okay, so I did have to cut those sticks a little bit. I thought they were sticking out a little too much, but this I think looks really cute. I have these little boxes I just had upstairs. I don't know why I bought it. I bought this many years ago. I think it was to put little presents in or to use as decoration. So even that it's brown, I'm gonna add these little red hearts to it. And we're gonna use that for little decoration. So really easy. Just add a little hot glue to that box. And we're gonna just decorate it, make it look very Valentine's. Look at that. Another DIY is look around your house for any like spare florals that you might have. So I have found these and these were part of another arrangement. I think I, that's when I was doing my Victorian Christmas and I was putting roses in the Christmas tree. But um, I decided I'm going to use this little vase. This is a uh, Royal Albert vase and I'm going to put them in this little vase, but I want to tie them together. I already snipped them some. And so I'm gonna get a little uh, rope here. Where did I put it? Right over here. And I'm gonna tie these together. So I kind of stuck them all together. And I have a little excess, so let me cut that, snip that. That's gonna be in the vase, so that's not going to show. And I got this little greenery too that's gonna go in there, but let's first put this in here. That's big. I think this one might be too big. I'm gonna use the smaller one. See how cute that looks? Little tiny arrangement. I think it looks super cute. And you can put this as an accent somewhere in the house. So we'll put this aside, figure out where it goes later. Okay, so the next thing, I have this pitcher here and it's really nice stoneware. And what I decided to do, I'm going to put these flowers, and these flowers I also had from a Christmas arrangement I did when we did our Victorian Christmas a few years back. And so I have five of these, so I'm just gonna stick these in here really easy. Place it like that. And you have a simple flower arrangement that we're gonna use on our console table. Couple of other little floral arrangements. Um, look around your house, see what you have around your house. Like we have these little tiny pitchers, like these are little milk uh, pitchers, um, little containers. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I have these florals here and there are these really pretty white and pink roses. And so I am just going to bunch them up together and I already these were kind of long, so I just bent the bottoms. And it's better to probably bend the bottoms than to cut them off because you might use them for something else one day. And these fit perfectly, look at this, fits perfectly in this little milk pitcher. And I think it looks super cute. We're probably gonna use this in the breakfast room uh, china closet on the hutch there. And I think that's gonna look so cute. And I love the colors. I didn't want to go with bright, bright red. I really love the soft pale pink and white. Um, a little red here and there because after all it is Valentine's Day, but I really love the light pale pink, brown, white all together. I think that's a really great look. And it's a great look for our house too because of our green walls and everything. And the red, a little pop of red here and there is okay, especially since it's Valentine's Day. So I think these are gonna look so awesome. Another DIY, okay, I found this really cute. Um, this, um, it's a mailbox, says love letters, and I got this at Target in the dollar section. And so I think this is really cute. No, 
Yvonne and I, we always give each other Valentine's Day cards every year, and I always keep them, but they're just like in a drawer. So I thought we could actually store them in here, and then I could have all the Valentine's Day cards popping up. But, or pop, popping out, I should say, but I do want to add a little floral to that too. So I found these at in Target. One was, um, this one was a little bit more pricier than this one. This one I think was around five bucks, but this one was a little bit more. And so what I'm gonna do is put these in here. As you can see, it's pretty tall. So I'm probably going to bend it again. If you want to cut them, you can. However, you don't know if you're gonna use them for something else one day. So I think I'm just gonna bend mine for now. And these are gonna be in here. How cute is that gonna look? Oh, wow. Yes, I really like that. And then, I'm going to find some uh, old Valentine Day cards that we kept and I'm gonna have them like popping out. And so they're gonna be sticking out. Okay, so looking at my mailbox here and I got some old Valentine Day cards. Um, red tissue paper and I'm gonna probably take about half of this, let's see. I don't know how much I'm gonna need. Let's try about half. Put this over here for now. Just gonna bunch it up, put it at the bottom. If you want the tissue paper showing a little bit, you could probably do that too, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. Yeah, see, now it sticks up, see that? Yeah, I'm gonna put it down just a little bit more and have this one behind it. You know what, I think I'm gonna take this one out because of the purple. Um, I'm gonna put this one in, this says I love you. I want that showing. There's another one. Just have them kind of like that. So, now once Valentine's Day is over, then you can store all your um, Valentine's Day cards in there, which I think is a great idea. And once again, this was at the dollar section at Target. So a pretty cool idea there. Okay, so um, we got our stirs for our coffee bar. I also got these little um, fabric hearts. They're really, really cute. Uh, sort of a satiny finish. You can place these as little accents around. I might use some in my coffee bar on my two-tiered stand. I might put some on my console table. So I like having these, and I think they're a great size too. They're not the itty bitty ones. These are really cute stands. I got these off of Amazon. I'll leave the price uh, down below. And these come in threes. So there's three of them. There's a white one and the red and then the pink. And all you do is you, they're on a stick and it comes with this wooden round. And all you do is just stick it on there and that's it. Nice little stand, really cute. Um, I had this love sign with these hearts. They're really cute too. They have some pink in it too and red. Um, once again, I'm leaning more towards pink, but I really wanted the pale pink. For instance, there's a pink that I do not like. It is, <laughs> well, it's kind of, um, where is it? Well, it's this color pink, all right? I, I like it a little bit lighter than that, all right? But you know, it's what they have out there. And this little kit, you can get these at Hobby Lobby. This was got, a, I got this on Amazon. This says, Hugs, Kisses, Be Mine. Really cute. This is going to be on our console table too. And this one says, Love Lives Here. It's a little house. I think I'm going to use this on my two-tier tray. And then these blocks. I just love these XO blocks really cute and they have little hearts and it's XOXO and then you can stack them. So I think I'll put that on my console table. And this cute little guy was purchased on uh, Amazon too, but I've seen some like these at Home Goods too, but I love the letter. I love that he's carrying the letter, especially with our mailbox there. I think the theme's going to go really well. So I'm gonna be putting him with the mailbox on the console table. And this cute spoon here, Spoonful of Love, I had this. So, um, I mean, you can find these pretty much like at Hobby Lobby, Target. Some uh, other Target finds, I got these three cute little gnomes today. I went to the Target this morning and I saw these 
I was like, oh, they're super cute. And I like the colors. It's red, pink, and that brown. So I think that goes really well. And uh, we have a couple of other little tchotchkes, but one thing I want to show you that I think is really going to be super sweet when we decorate are these candles. And this is the color of pink that I really like. In fact, it could be actually a little bit lighter than that too. But for the most part, this works really well. Look how pretty these candles are. And I got these uh, at Hobby Lobby too. Battery operated, super sweet and they look really cute and super important. You have to go to Bath & Body Works to get these candles. This one that says love. Oh my gosh, I just love how that smells. Mmm, smells so good. They had another one there, I think it was Cupcake or something. I don't really care for it. It was in a white um, container, but this one, it's pink. I wish it was a like a lighter pink like this one. This is the pink I'm looking for, see the difference? But um, it was this color. But anyway, got a couple of candles. So we're gonna put a couple of candles out, real candles. These are of course battery operated candles that I just showed you. And uh, just a little signs. Um, this one says, do it with all your heart that I got at Hobby Lobby. And here's a couple of other little cute things that we found. This one's for a coffee bar. Got this at the dollar section of Target. Even comes with stirs. I know we just made some stirs, but I'm gonna put these stirs in with those. It's gonna look really cute. Uh, Hobby Lobby sign, another letter, I love you. I thought this was super cute. And another love sign from Hobby Lobby. Love that. And then these were the Target uh, dollar sections. So this love sign and then this heart little board. So I really love these. I think they're gonna look really great and we're gonna start decorating and I can't wait and I'm I got one more thing to show you. I saw this on Amazon and I just loved it. And it's like, sort of like a present for me and Yvonne. And it's made out of wood and it has the two hearts that are entangled and a little heart down here. And I just loved it. So I thought this is gonna look really nice. Probably either on the console table or we might put it on our uh, china closet in the breakfast room. So I think that's about it. Let's get decorated.
Okay, so I really, really like this console table. This is by our back door and we got it this past December and I loved it because I was able to put my nativity scene or my nativity set on there. And um, now we're going to decorate it for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Okay, so in the bedroom, basically I just did a little bit on top of my um, chest of drawers right here. And I just have a little uh, cup that I got at Target a couple of years ago. And I put some of those plushy hearts in there and the love you sign with the, one of the candles. On the nightstand, I have love with a heart and of course our picture there. I love how that looks. On Yvonne's side, I put a bear that I got him years and years ago. He still kept it. So I put that bear there and he's holding a heart. It says, love you more. And those are those boxes that we did that quick little DIY, putting just hot gluing those little hearts onto those brown boxes. I just love how that looks. And once again, these candles light up. They're battery operated. And I think that looks super cute like that. And on Yvonne's nightstand, I just put a little tray here, tray on top of a tray with some of these hearts. And of course, I have a little heart there hanging on to a candle. Super cute. Okay, so next we're going to make our delicious Linzer cookies. And so some of the things you're gonna need are two and a fourth cups of all-purpose flour, three fourths cup of powdered sugar, a fourth teaspoon of salt, one egg yolk, so you'll need an egg separator, and you're gonna need uh, one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, a jar of, I use red raspberry jam, you can use any jam you want, but I really like the color. If you use strawberry jam, you can use strawberry jam too, but I really love red raspberry jam, Smucker's red raspberry jam. I think it's the best. Um, we're gonna need three fourths cup of butter that is chilled. You have to make sure that it's chilled. So this is a half a cup here. And then of course you're going to get your fourth cup from here. So two sticks you'll need, not the full stick, so. And um, some orange zest and lemon zest too. We're gonna add some orange zest and lemon zest to this. It's gonna make it so flavorful. So let's get to work. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna use my zester here. I love this OXO zester. And I'm gonna zest pretty much the whole lemon. If you have um, a very large lemon, then I mean, it depends how flavorful you like it, but I'm gonna use the entire lemon for zesting. Get most of it. Looks good. Mm, it smells so good. I love lemon. I don't know about you guys, but I just love lemon. It's like my favorite. Okay, so I got my lemon. I'm gonna get some orange zest. And I have a, um, a video that I did I think a couple of years ago on uh, Linzer cookies. The recipe's a little bit different. 
I think this recipe, uh, I think it's a little bit easier. So hopefully you guys will enjoy making these. All right, so you need a food processor and I'm going to get my two and a fourth cups of flour. You always wanna make sure you level out your flour. So that's one. And then my fourth. I'm going to get my three fourths cup of powdered sugar. And we're going to first pulse this a little bit. So this is my fourth cup measuring. I'm not going to level this one off because in case it gets it's a little sweeter, I'm okay with that. <laughs> and three. <clears throat> All right. So three fourths cup of that, and then my one fourth teaspoon of salt. And this is pretty a e pretty easy recipe. It's not that hard. It is not hard to make. It's very fancy too. So people will be impressed. All right, so I'm gonna just pulse this. Okay. And now we're gonna add the egg yolk and the butter and the vanilla. Next I'm gonna add my butter. And remember we're using three fourths of a cup. So that's one whole stick and make sure that you cut these into cubes. It's very important that you cut these into cubes and that it's cold. When we pulse this, we want it to be sort of like, um, want it to be crumbly. All right, now let me do my fourth cup over here on my second stick. Put this back on, pulse it, take a look, mm -hmm. pretty good, I'm going to pulse it a couple more times. Okay, next we're going to add our pure vanilla extract and that is one teaspoon. I'm gonna add my one egg yolk. My one egg yolk. And I'm gonna add my lemon and orange zest now. Okay. So I'm going to add just a touch of water. Gonna put this on a board. And you probably want a bigger board than what I <laughs> let me roll up my sleeves. So as you can see, the dough is very loose and you can add a little bit more water if you need to, but I think it's gonna be okay. You just gotta keep putting your hands together and putting it, like making it a solid because that butter with your, the warmth of your hands 
that's going to make it stick together. And then we have to put this in the refrigerator for at least an hour before we start rolling it out. Show you real fast that when you put it in the plastic wrap, just put it in the plastic wrap and when it's together, then kind of form a disc with your hands the best you can. It's gonna bring it all together. And you can see how the dough is now, all right? So we're going to put this in the refrigerator and leave it in there for at least an hour. Okay, so we're back and I did let the dough sit overnight in the refrigerator, um, but you could start using this probably about an hour. Um, after you leave it in the refrigerator. Um, it can be in the refrigerator up to about three days too. So we're gonna start, I have a board here. One thing I will need to get, this is just this little towel and I put it underneath the board so the board doesn't go sliding all over the counter. Keeps it kind of like in place. Okay, we're gonna need a little flour. We're gonna flour our surface. Uh, I don't have my little cup in there. I'm gonna use this to sprinkle a little bit you want a nicely floured surface we're going to roll out our dough now one thing if your dough um, is dry make sure that you add water to it so if you remember what we did we added some water probably I mean it really depends you just you have to have this consistency hopefully I'll do a uh, Close up, you guys see how it is. It's very malleable. So you can, you know. And then you're gonna roll it out on flour. So I'm gonna take half of it about, okay, and roll this out. And gotta flour my roller. All right, and we're just gonna roll this out. Yeah, I'm probably about a fourth of an inch. And so you get your cookie cutter. Now this is the large one. This is actually, was it five inches, something like that? You can go with smaller, but you just gotta get a smaller one. I don't have a smaller one. This is the smallest one I have, so that's why I'm gonna be using those two. So I'm not gonna get that many cookies out of this, but if you were doing that, you would get more cookies, of course, if you were using a smaller, um, cookie cutter. But these are going to be so cute for Valentine's Day. And if you could tell, I got a cold, you know, yeah. yeah. I, um, it's been happening the last few days and, um, I think it was because I was doing morning duty at my job. I'm a school teacher. So I was doing morning duty, opening up car doors for the kids in the morning when it was like 32 degrees and I didn't wear a hat that day. And then this happened, so I sound like this. So <laughs> I apologize for my uh, voice. But the videos must go on. <laughs> and let's see, where's my spatula? Here it is. Lift it from the bottom, make sure because you want your cookies to be nice. I gotta flour my surface a little bit more. Now I have three cut out here, so what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna get my smaller one. And these one these make such cute little cookies too by themselves, too. So they're gonna be cooked. There's my oven. Don't forget my oven is preheated to 350 degrees. We're gonna bake these for around 10 minutes. All right, so have these. Let me put these like that. And I'll show you up close what we're doing with the cookie cutter. So this is approximately a fourth of an inch. You just get your cookie cutter and place it here. Now we will need, remember half of them need to be whole like this. Others need to be cut out because we're gonna be laying that on top. So really easy. I'm just getting some of my dough here. 
spread out that flour. And we're gonna use our roller. So once again, if you notice that your dough is on the dry side, add some water to it. All right, just keep doing it until it's kind of like that, okay? Okay, so since these are super large, I need to put this back in the refrigerator for just a bit and we're gonna bake these first. And then uh, we're gonna continue making our cookies. Okay, so we can see, oh yeah, they're a really nice color. That looks great. And then we have these. That looks great. Look at that. So we're gonna let this sit for just a little bit before we put it on our, our cooling rack, I should say. On our cooling rack. And I also need to um, start rolling out some more. Okay, so the cookies are baked and I'm letting these dry on the drying rack, uh, cooling rack, I always say drying rack, on the cooling rack right now, they're gonna be on the cooling rack. And now we're gonna start preparing our cookies so I can show you exactly how we do this. So basically you have your red raspberry jam or like I said, you can use strawberry jam too. I have a real small little spatula and we're just gonna get some and we're going to, now you have to make sure your cookies are cool before you do this. All right, so make sure that it's cool. And we're gonna just add a little bit. You don't want the jam to spill out, all right? So you definitely wanna go, just leave a little, little space around the edges and I'll do a close up so you can see that. But it really helps when you have this spatula. And you don't want it too thick either, you know? You just want a nice layer. So you can see that's what it looks like. All right. And then we're just gonna lay this on top. Make sure it is nicely spaced the best you can. You may not have a perfect, uh, let's see, kind of kind of sticks out here. Just try your best to make it impress lightly so it sticks together. And then we're gonna add some powdered sugar. And add the powdered sugar after you do it or you can do it before. So I'm gonna show you the difference between both. So here's, I'm just adding the powdered sugar to the top first. And then I'm gonna add the powdered sugar here. So it depends on what you wanna do. If you want a little powdered sugar in your jam, then you could do it like that. So this, oh, such a pretty cookie. Look at that, really, really pretty. I'm gonna put this to the side. I'm gonna do another one to show you the difference between the two, and it's up to you, it's your preference. So once again, I'm adding my jam to my part, smearing that on. Don't go all the way to the edge. Remember, leave a little space, because you don't want that jam spilling out. <clears throat> Now I'm gonna get this one and just lay that on top. So once again, it depends on the style that you like. Can you see that one? Hopefully I'll do a close up. All right, so I'm gonna continue making my cookies and then we're gonna display them nicely. Well, here they are, my Linzer Torque Cookies. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us on Happy Healthy Living with Yvonne Douglas today. Remember, if you want that homey vibe, you need to subscribe and please give this video a like. Until next time, my friends, happy Valentine's Day. Bye-bye. Mmm. So good.